A Florida jury convicts a black man of the DUI even after body cam video shows a white police officer planting evidence. Leon County Judge Jason Jones sentenced Calvin Riley to 10 days in jail and six months of probation for the May 2023 arrest. This case received a national spotlight just days ahead of the start of the trial because a media outlet, uh, uh, Our Tallahassee, posted an edited clip of the arresting officer's body camera footage. The footage shows, in part, an officer picking up a bottle from Riley's car during the incident, pouring out the contents and placing the bottle back inside the vehicle. After the video garnered thousands of views and reaction last week, the Tallahassee Police Department denies any misconduct allegations. So I, I'm, I'm still sort of confused uh, by this here. I'm going to bring in my panel right now uh, to chat about this. Uh, glad to have them with us today uh, because uh, it, it is uh, it's still it's quite confusing. And, and when you start talking about uh, these type uh, of stories and this judge's decision, I'm still trying to understand that the alcohol was in the car and then now she empties the car and then places it back. Gavin Reynolds, contributor with The Root and former speechwriter for Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, also, uh, he joins us now from New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, Tyler McMillan, social justice leader, former national director, youth and college of the National Action Network. Derek L. Jackson, Georgia State Representative, District uh, 68 out of Atlanta. You know what, I, I, I would say, uh, Derek, if I'm the police department, um, I'm putting that putting an officer on desk duty where they can get much better training because I, I still don't understand once she pulled him over suggesting that she smelled marijuana. I, I, I guess I'm still confused how you can smell marijuana with a moving car. Uh, but then all of a sudden it turns into a DUI and she pours the alcohol out. Uh, so I'm again, uh, this whole case has, um, has been confusing. You know, Roland, um, <clears throat> it is often uh, these types of scenarios that we constantly see, especially as it relates to black men, how uh, police officers uh, violate uh, their rights. I mean, when you go as far as planting evidence, so put training aside for a second. I think this is more about the behavior that we constantly see. This is a behavior where uh, those who think that it's okay to criminalize citizens before there are even charged, before, as you stated, how can you smell marijuana? Um, what what kind of sense do you have? That's the reason why we have uh, canines to do that kind of work. Uh, our sensitivity of our nose do not qualify a person to be able in the court of law saying, well, I smell marijuana. Um, I saw this uh, empty uh, bottle of, of liquor, and I suspect that this person should be charged. The judge, uh, which is even more confusing with this amount of evidence uh, from the body cam uh, video footage, clearly should make uh, the right call on this. But we tend to not see this because when it comes down to law enforcement, uh, and, and it's interesting that we continue to talk about immunity, uh, this immunity uh, that's typically garnered to law enforcement officers uh, tend to create this behavior, this mindset that we constantly see in these types of scenarios. It goes well beyond training, well before training, because if this uh, brother uh, was European or someone other than black, then the outcome uh, of this scenario would be very, very different. Um, and again, uh, I'm sure it's 10 days uh, given, but the reality is the actions of this officer should be questioned by folks all across the country. Absolutely. And, you know, ordinarily in situations like this where we have body cam footage, you know, we've seen the ways in which Thankfully, that footage sheds much needed light on the circumstances that actually transpired and actually end up making it such that, you know, the, the inevitable black man who's in the situation can get some sort of justice in that situation. But yet and still here we have this body cam footage and you know, this black man is still, you know, received this outcome you know, that he has. And we see this happen time and time again. 
just in the cases where we do have body cam footage and it does make the news, but how many other instances, you know, have we seen this occur? Have we not, not seen this occur when we don't have that body cam footage? We don't have that evidence. You know, in those cases, you know, justice is far from served for those police officers who carry out this malfeasance. Um, and we have to remember, too, that in so many instances, right, when black men in these situations like this gentleman here get, you know, this sort of stain on their on their criminal record, this can also have ramifications for their ability to ability to vote and participate in our democratic processes. So it's important that we keep that in mind. It's important. The last thing I'll say, too, is that, again, and I beat the drum on this time and time again, in this election season, we know there's a lot at stake at the presidential level, but there's so much at stake at the state and local levels, too. When we talk about who are the judges who are deciding these cases, who are the sheriffs and police chiefs who are going to be you know, leading these police departments, who are the mayors, right, who we're voting for, who are going to appoint, you know, those local law enforcement leaders? We have to understand that when we talk about our democracy, our democracy requires participation from each and every one of us at every single level. And that can be the difference between, you know, these situations happening or not, or when they happen, ensuring that these police officers get desk duty and not another ride around the block. Tyler? Yeah, I, I will echo the, the same words as uh, my panelists before I went uh, going to see deeper, but I, I think, you know, my role as youth director, I had opportunity to work with a lot of families and victims that, that failed to police violence. And I think, you know, this is just a, you know, I, I think would think that he came out safe, but I think this outcome is yet another failure on the U.S. Department of Justice. I, and I echo the same thing that, you know, we saw the video, the proof was in the body camera footage. Um, but I think that, that, you know, adds on to the lack of trust that's in within, within the community. And uh, the question is, what else has this department been hiding? Uh, I think there should be a review of every DUI that this officer has conducted. And I, I think there should be a federal investigation into the Tale Tallahassee uh, Police Department. Fanbase is pioneering a new era of social media for the creator economy. This next generation social media app with over 600,000 users is raising $17 million. And now is your chance to invest. For details on how to invest, visit startengine.com slash fanbase or scan the QR code. Another way we're giving you the freedom to be you without limits.